Hello people, my name is Dion 362 and welcome back to more Let's Play Miles Edward Investigations. In the last episode, we learned what logic is and learned that there was a murder happening to us, got threatened, and many other things. In this episode, we are going to use some logic to figure out if any of everything is connected to each other. So am I supposed to use logic now, I'm assuming? <clears throat> okay, so I'm assuming that I have to figure out everything. So first off... The victim was a detective because of the revolver found at the scene. So now we connect it. Oh god, I can lose some of my green health? Like, now? What the heck? Damn so model used by detectives. Could have been belonged to our recently departed. Gumshoe, could you please thoroughly check the victim's body one more time? I forgot to set up my timer. Oh crap. I'll eyeball it. On it now, sir! Excuse me, pal, let's see. What have we got? Oh, for some I thought he was talking to the dead guy, and I'm like... Ace reporter right there, ace detective right there. This guy's wearing a gun holster. So it appears our killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. So... Somehow he took the gun. What else can we find out about this revolver? As always, I say I've got to roll really carefully at each piece of evidence, so we can use the scroll wheels to rotate an object. There's no such thing as a bad angle. Use the slide bar or the X and Y or zoom in and I'm getting nitty gritty. Okay, so. Okay, so I can press R and do that. Uh, let's see. What am I supposed to look for? Oh, there are. There are guns. Oh. Only one round was fired. Killer killed the Vic just with one shot after wrestling the gun from him. So he knew how to handle a gun. Possibility. What's the other chance? Oh, wait, was that it? Dude, we didn't even need to freaking do anything. What is one shot thing gonna tell us? Oh, what the heck? How could this have happened to a guy like you? Hey, I've seen your face before. Are you alright? Don't touch me. Leave me alone. Just let me be. Sorry, but I can't do that. The investigation is still ongoing, so please refrain from touching the body. The body? The body! Don't bother! Don't talk about him like he's just a lump of flesh! Then what is he exactly? Look at him! Jim looks like he's just turned in for the night. I'm sure, just in a bloodstained suit, pal. Where are my manners? Hey, it's the Olympic athlete. Aren't you that prosecutor? Poor... Oh, yes, I am. I'm Jackass Portsmouth, prosecutor. He even sound, looks like a freaking... His name even looks like something out of, like, an Olympic athlete. Jeez. Jim here was my partner in crime busting. I'm Miles Edward, and like you, I'm also prosecutor. Detective Dick Gumshoe. So you're Miles Edward? I guess this is your office. Yes, that is correct. Damn, was you. You're the one who killed Jim. Oh, whoops. Don't go around jumping conclusions, pal. Just calm down, okay? I will not. I know how things work out around here. High prosecutor's office doors all have locks built into them. Only the owner of the office has the key to his or her own office door. That is correct. However, I was not the one who killed your partner. Yeah, Mr. Edward has been overseas on a business trip the whole time, pal. And the key to the door was with me the entire time. Okay, you idiot. <laughs> so the only one who could get in here was me. You're an idiot. Wait, that means... I'm not sure what that means. So it was you then. You're Jim's killer. No way, pal. You've got it all wrong. Everyone calm down. I feel like I'm mumbling more. Mr. Portsman, correct? If you're a real prosecutor, you should have always have to, should know how to stay collected. The investigation has only just begun. Isn't it too early to be drawing conclusions? All right, I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little too hot-headed sometimes. You sure are one cool customer, though, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. You're something of a legend, you know. I wish I was a legend. Anyway, let's call a truce and work together, okay? Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? I don't trust him. A pleasure to work with you. No handshake. Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on, then. It's your room, after all. I intend to. 
I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. He's doing something with the evidence, isn't he? You there! Sir. <laughs> I want you to capture this scene on film for me. My final farewell to my partner, Jim. I should probably give them some space. Okay, so what, we leave the office now? Can I leave the office? I can leave the office. Uh, Bucky? A word, if I may. I swear I'll find your killer and bring them to justice. You wait and see, it'll be for the both of us. Now then, you want to talk to me about something? That's alright. I feel like I'm interrupting their conversation. Okay. How about you? You have anything for me? Do you have anything to report? Sir, yes, sir. Nothing out of the ordinary right now, sir. No, just the dead body that's right in front of you. Hey, exactly. Talk about a contradiction. Something out of the ordinary, huh? I should look around a bit more. The gun? This thing? They even knocked over your chest set. I had it all set up ready for when we got back. I figured we could play a few games. I had no idea you were interested in chess. I'm actually pretty good at checkers, so I thought I'd give chess a try. You are an idiot. In that case, I suppose I can set some time aside after we solve this case. Though I don't expect the game to tax my mental acuity. <laughs> I'm actually really good at chess for some reason. I've been able to beat like most people and I came first in my chess championship. I'm happy. I'll grab my desk. It's been a while since I've sat at this desk. Oh, how I've missed you. It's so tidy that it looks newer than when I first bought it. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Dang! Burning gumshoe all over the place! You can't dock his pay. Alright, what do you get you? Please, I need absolute silence. This picture is too important to mess up. I'll leave the man to his art. I'm supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. Wait a minute! There was a bullet on that thing, though. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right now. I'm starting to notice stuff. Special object that made your prosecutor debut in? Hey, I remember that jacket. What if they had shot through it? It would have been a disaster. It's not worth getting worked up over. I wonder if there's something more here. Like what? I take it you haven't noticed it yet, detective. There is a giant contradiction right here in front of us. Wait a minute, yeah, something... So, he must be rubbing off on me. Dang. It's starting to sound like him. But I have my own methods and I will conduct this investigation my way. When this scene before me contradicts a piece of evidence or seems off, that's when my deductive skills come into play. First, I have to find a spot that holds a contradiction. Okay, yeah, that makes no sense because there's a... Oh, okay. <laughs> When I spot something that's off, I should touch the deduce button with conviction. I touch the deduce button with conviction, kind of, and when I found a sufficient proof to prove the contradiction, I present it. This is how I do things. It's not the exact same way. Ah, whatever. Anyway, the gun had one bullet round left in it. So, what I'm wondering is what killed the police officer? Eureka! I like Eureka better than objection, anyway. What do you mean, sir? It's elementary. Two shots were fired in this room. The first fell the victim. And the second fell this frame. Hey, that's right. However, this gun was only fired once. Hey, that's true too. Which means that one of these two bullets was fired from a different gun. Did you have another gun prepared for tonight? Okay, so we have another handgun added to the logic. By the way, I noticed something, sir. Yes? What's that thing sticking out from behind the frame? Hmm. It's a secret safe. Oh, I thought it was like a secret door. Oh, I smell money. I spare us the trouble and just say it. Nothing like what you're imagining is inside. Now, if you could kindly move this frame out of the way. Roger that. Mostly that's what happened when I'm not here to dust it once in a while. Alright, I've kept it clean for you. So when did you put this thing in? It wasn't something I had installed personally. Every prosecutor's office has one, really? Well, only prosecutors are supposed to have knowledge of their existence. What's inside right now? Nothing. 
We only use them to store especially important evidence when a trial is in session. Talk about squashing my hopes and dreams. I didn't know. It would have been easy. Secret safe. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. So can we open the door? Why is there marks around here, first of all? Found something, sir? This keypad. Don't you find it to be a bit too clean? Yeah, there's a thick layer of dust all around it, but not on the keypad itself. You too, Div. The forensic scientist. Yes, sir. Could you please dust this area for fingerprints? You got it, sir. How much time do I have? I have I've only been recording for ten minutes. I have five minutes left. Fine, let alone the lift, a single print. It looks like it was wiped well down. Alright, so we couldn't find anything using that. But we were updated, as I thought. It appears that logic is the only way around this setback. Time to rationally and calmly play and con play, play, connect the dots with information we have. We are completely screwed, because rationally and calmly is not what I am used to. Alright, let's rationalize and calmly rationalize the killer's goal. Alright, so the killer's goal is... I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So maybe wipe fingerprints and killer's goal. Yeah, I made the explosion. I figured out what the murderer was after. Well, what is it, sir? The fact that the safe was wiped clean of fingerprints suggests that the criminal had at least attempted to open my safe, making the culprit's motive for breaking and entering theft, I believe. Okay. You sure? Then how did they know about the safe in the first place? Changes what the other piece of information can tell me about this crime. Okay, so connected thoughts. Signs of a struggle. Open the safe with killer mode's theft. Uh, other than the victim's gun, if I could there be another gun play here? This? I don't really see how these could work, but maybe like he was trying to find the safe or something? That's what I'm thinking. Yes! Files displayed on the floor are not the result of a struggle between the victim and his killer. You mean like it could be from when the killer tried to find something? Precisely, we need to figure out if any of the files have been stolen. I'm gonna shell files like you've never seen before, even at a library. Let's give it a try. Why do all the good ones always die young? Showing us ponder that every once in a while. Philosophical scene time, go! No matter how much we lament, the dead will not come back to life. All we can do is search for the truth. And so what are we supposed to do? How are we going about the finding the truth? First, we calmly restore the files to their rightful place. Let me help. So this file goes here, and that book goes there. And that stalker should go away. Alright. Oh, what the heck? Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I got info on the floor. Pardon me. Don't have the time to deal with your weak stomach right now. But you know I'm no good with blood, sir. I just became a detective for the sheer fun of it. I'm certain there's something wrong with this picture. I know! Oh, wait, that, uh... Uh, 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 okay, we'll figure this out in the next episode, not only because I don't have any idea what it is, but, yeah, we'll figure it out in the next episode. Bye, everybody, I hope you had fun, get ready to like, subscribe, favor, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. There's blood splashed over here, I'm pretty sure that's necessary, or maybe it's that thing where, like, there's no blood here, or maybe there's, like, freaking butt blood or something, I don't even know. Goodbye, everybody.